Now, if I could share something, <laughs> I actually have uh, um, very low blood at this point. I think it's, it's, I'm building it up, but at this point, my blood was like half the normal blood that I should have. In which case, I get out of breath very easily. And for some reason, you know, they advise you anyone with heart problems, pregnant or um, heart problems, shouldn't do this it was 500 steps down 500 steps back up i'm like oh i'm not that bad i can do it easy right <laughs> no I, it was it was so hard going down was a piece of cake but coming back up i'm like what did i do and i swear i took about 20 breaks and at first see you know, i was like oh you got people at me like you know, I try to put on that front when you see people come. After a while, I'm like, forget it. I'm going to sit here. <laughs> sit here. I'm stop. Go around. <laughs> like, I can't breathe. <laughs> I did make it back up, but it, it, <laughs> it was very hard. Here's a beautiful view from up top of the waterfall that you see peeking down. Beautiful, beautiful. These, this is a view of what the steps look like. It's it's a dis it's a very it's a descent you're going down it's down in the forest it's very yeah yeah <laughs> i for made it down right and of course i can make, make it down was easy right this is what the waterfall looks like you can swim at the foot of it this is what the front of the welcome center looks like. Uh, um, as I'm driving out, <laughs> it's a dog just stopped right there in the middle of the street. Just living life. Okay, so this is, I came back to the resort at Tabacon, and this is just a view of the Hot Springs area. Now, you can get a day pass to go to the Hot Springs area. You can just park alongside the road out there. They have some people collecting money, or I don't know if they actually work there or not, but, because I actually stayed at the resort, so I didn't have to really deal with them, or, um, but, yeah, you can park your car outside come in and this is just what the hot springs area looks like very green very pretty very pretty we have a pool with the swim up bar there that you can indulge in the shangri-la gardens area is reserved for the hotel guests but i'll tell you you're not missing much i mean it just has some extra i guess um cabanas there that you can sit in but it's just the same more same more the same of what's outside of the shangri-la garden area as you can see this um part right here it's only 1.3 feet but it's you know a <laughs> hundred was it 102 degrees and i think of today it had to be about 85 degrees outside maybe even 90 and i got in it but it just did, it didn't sit right with me i don't know if i just didn't stay in it long enough but it's like it's 90 some degrees out here and you want me to sit in a hundred degree water it was different very different but it's very beautiful and it's very interesting how it it works <laughs> Let me also mention that it's rocks <laughs> on the bottom of this, but also add it to the uncomfortability of it. Like it's hot outside. I'm in hot water. These are hard rocks here on my feet. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> this is some, I think it's this harissa chicken dish that I had at the restaurant for dinner. A half-eaten omelet that I had at breakfast. So being in the um, La Fortana area, 
But the volcano right there, the rainforest, the jungle, I booked the tour through a company talk through a company called Tour Ganas there. I can't say the name of it, I'm sorry. Um I'm sure they told me that, you know, it was a self guided tour, I think. I think they had to mention that on the website, right? But I don't think that clicked in my mind. <laughs> it didn't click. And especially, it didn't click what would happen if I was the only one who booked that tour that day. <laughs> so I drove to the volcano area, which was, it is as close to uh, Tabacon, but the road leading up to the actual um, Areno National Park is terrible. Terrible, terrible. Like, I, I know I have a video of me leaving out <laughs> of it because, you know, going in, you don't know what you're expecting. So <laughs> I don't have any videos of that. But going out, it was terrible. Like, especially that first, last 15 minutes as the road take, takes you, that takes you into the park. I'm like, even in the park, it's like up like this up a hill. Anyways, I'm, I, I get past the gate at the park and um, I say, yes, you know, I'm here for a tour. My, also, outside of the main park gate, there's some other, another company who will stop you, of course, if when you look like you don't know where you're going and be like, hey, you know, um, why don't you come here and take our tour instead, right? Um, but I was like, oh no, I had at that point I had already paid for this other tour, so I was like, oh no, I have I have reservations, and so they wasn't they didn't try that hard to get me because they wasn't gonna get any more money out of me, right? But as I'm driving up in the park, past the past the gate to go to the little meeting center, I see this thing run outside, run alongside, and I'm like. I actually saw one before right like not in front of my hotel room at the top of con it was a couple doors down one night I had walked back from dinner it was dark I mean I could have called one of the golf carts to come get me but it really isn't really not that far of a walk especially I didn't feel comfortable doing it the first night because I, I didn't even walk that way during the day but come the second night knowing that I walked that way during the day when I came back for breakfast I was like, oh yeah I can do it but I did see one of them at the uh, like in front of a hotel room door, like four doors down from me. When I tell you I got into my room so quick, I have to look at what the name of this. I can't even remember. I just know it's something in a raccoon family. And, you know, they say, oh, you know, if you don't bother them, if you just like, you know, hit your leg or something, they'll run away. But I do not play with animals. So it's very scary. So once I saw this one driving, like just running around free as I'm going to go take a hike, that already set my mood up already was like mm, I don't care how much I pay I don't know about this I don't know and then I'm parking my car to go again I didn't even get to the to the to the little meeting point welcome center of the park yet I'm just trying to park my car and here is I get I think it's another one just walking right by my car so I'm like um yeah so I get there and it's a self-guided tour of me I guess that tour company they worked out some partnership with the park where they basically just advertise it collect your money and schedule it for you and you know they get a cut and then the um park i guess gets their cut to actually pay for your ticket so technically i could have went to the park pay for the ticket myself i did get lunch included which i didn't i mean i got i don't know if do the math like how much just doing it myself would have saved me but <laughs> I didn't know that especially in the sense of me if someone out I like so okay so I got there and you know it was just me checking in I said yes I'm here for my 11 o'clock walking tour and he gave me a map and said yes there are several different tours you can choose any which one you want um they all start down that way you know, you can have the you, your lunch is included and the restaurant opens, I think, at 1130 or maybe 
my appointment was for 11.30 and the restaurant opened up at 12. Which basically means, hey, it's a, it's really a self-guided walking tour. It's just me by myself taking this tour in this wood with these animals running around. I was, at that point, I'm like, um, F, however much I pay for this tour, I'm going to go. I'm going to wait in my car for half an hour and have till the, till the restaurant opens, have me some lunch, take a couple pictures off of the balcony of the restaurant because you get a, I got it as you can see it's a good view of the of the volcano because even with the tours like I wasn't going to get even with the walking paths or hikes I wasn't going to get that close so you can say I wasted my money I do not care I was not walking in no woods by myself with that little thing running around no not doing it give zero zero f's not doing it I had my little lunch so uh, I forget what kind of fish um, ceviche this was I think it was swart fish ceviche and it had that with some little shrimp fried rice so these are my foods that I got at lunch and yeah beautiful pictures of the volcano and I surely Said thank you very much and went and got in my car and drove off. Um, this is okay. Here we have a view of the road. <sighs> Me leaving the park. I said it's. <sighs> I'm like, oh my god. It, it was look at I, I do apologize like I need to get a full setup you know I would say if I would get a full setup if I ever planned on driving in another country to give you a better experience but I'm not sure I plan on doing that again <laughs> but came back to the hotel for a while chilled with me I went in the pool then I went and got me some dinner at a place called these are my fish tacos I got eh, they were okay and a snapper and is this and this is a video of me driving in a little downtown La Fortuna Fortuna is it Fortuna or Fortuna it's probably Fortuna sorry if I said Fortuna this whole video it's Fortuna <laughs> This is the downstairs. I told listen. These words are I'm not for me. I don't know how to say it. I didn't have I didn't have a class on pronouncing cities in Costa Rica name. <laughs> this is that. And this is a view of what the road looks like as I'm driving from La Fortuna. I am going, I think I stopped at, um, yeah, I went to stop and I stopped at a waterfall. And so these are some pictures of what the road looked like heading to the waterfall. As you got close to the waterfall, the roads got worse. These are some of the steps walking down the waterfall. This one definitely wasn't as far down as the other one another beautiful waterfall this is the tent that was set up at the airport for me to take my COVID test to the return to the u.s i left the airport and finally headed to las catalinas Part of the road looked like how it looked when I first got there when I was driving to the Tamarindo area. It was mostly paved. However, as I got close to Las Catalinas, it was this dirt road and like this road was so bad that once i got to the hotel and checked in the next day i had booked a atv tour through that same 
tour company. I wasn't even sure if this one was going to be self-guided. But just the thought of me having to drive back to this road. And again, because this was, you know, the instructions to where they tell you to meet was again at another company. Which means I could have just booked directly at, through that company. I know now. But I don't, I don't, I didn't go. <laughs> so I just was like, I'm going to just sit at my hotel at this pool today and drink and eat and that's it so this is a view of my room at las catalinas uh, at casa chameleon las catalinas beautiful with the with the infinity pool out front can i tell y'all a secret <laughs> can i tell you a secret <laughs> i i booked this expensive room for that pool right there right and for the bigger infinity pool that they have at the main at the main pool right <laughs> i did not get into this pool i did not i i tried but again this was before i took my semi swimming lesson so my comfortability with deeper water was not as much as it is now even though it's still a little shaky but i got in like the sign said it was four nine and i'm like five three I'm like, oh, okay, I can do that. But when I tried to get in, try to put my feet, at, it was not, it wasn't doing it. Like I was, I would like reach, and reach, and I say it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. So I just went, <laughs> I walked off and said to me, well, this is where I stayed all day, the day of my ATV tour, and it was also the part about it being jungles, which I like. When I checked into Casa Chameleon. That man, he like screwed me up. Like I said, but I don't do animals. And when I even booked the trip to Costa Rica, it went over my head that Costa Rica's jungles and rainforests. Completely over my head. I did not know that. I didn't. This, I missed that part in geography class, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so when I checked in, the man was like, um, you know, make sure you lock your balcony window well yeah you lock the balcony windows with the balcony doors because they have had you know guests who woken up in the middle of the night and had visitors from some raccoons or monkeys just eating their food you know eating whatever food they left in their room that scared the world out of me every night all the lights was on on my balcony like i'm not i don't play that i double i triple check make sure that the doors were locked i'm like i had stuff blocking it <laughs> like, and so he told me about that and then it was like oh do i want to drive back on this to the through this bumpy terrible road and like i didn't even show it doesn't even have the whole clips it's like part of is you going along sides of the mountains you know the locals are flying by you about this push you off the side of the road onto a cliff like well I wanted to do that to drive around in the rainforest and like just trying to run away from monkeys and raccoons and lord knows what else right I think, uh, or I can sit here all day order drinks and food I think I'm gonna sit here <laughs> that's just what <laughs> that's literally what it came down to <laughs> These are more pictures of the gorgeous pool with a gorgeous view. And this is, oh, I can make this the Pacific Ocean, right? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, and the sunset. Oh, oh. Like, the colors in the sky. I live for beautiful sunset. Like, I live, like, right now, I am living to see this again tomorrow and another day. <laughs> In another place that is that's what i'm living for that's it that's it so this is just the little picture at the dinner in the restaurant with my little glass of prosecco right like my drinks of choice would be um <laughs> bourbon or prosecco <laughs> that's what i'm doing this was dinner at the restaurant little spicy shrimp dish they had with the chocolate raspberry dessert beautiful coastal view 
from um, another part of the resort. Beautiful. Looks like somewhere in Italy, doesn't it? Oh. I want to go. This is me. Who else? <laughs> breakfast. I think. I think this. I, I think Casa Pavilion. They included breakfast too. Lunch had a little um, chicken wrap, with avocado and fries. This particular night, the restaurant had a band play. <laughs> Lit when they play September, right? <laughs> Get my life. Hello, <laughs> short rib risotto dish at lunch. This is back in the bedroom. The bedroom did have the net, the netted canopy thing that you can put around. So, this is a dark view of that. Breakfast, got some French toast set for breakfast. This is just a little pathway at the resort. And down those steps on both sides are where the rooms are located. I drove back on this <laughs> scary dirt road alongside of the mountain. <laughs> and I went back to Liberia Airport and I flew home. Uh, I think I flew to Charlotte and then back to BWI. But yes, that <laughs> my six night, seven day experience in Costa Rica. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it inspires you to do your own travel. Let me know in the comments if you had any questions. If you like, if you liked what you saw and would like to see more, you know, like this video or subscribe more coming the world is opening up i'm so excited anyway thanks see you next time